Welcome to Perry Lambs, Utah, Colorado, and Western Railroad. A Class 1, transcontinental railroad formed via mergers and acquisitions over various years, starting in the mid-1800s in Colorado. The railroad now carries rail traffic to and from both the west and east coasts and serves most of the United States. Next, we catch the same coal train passing through Moose Crossing, Washington. Moose Crossing is home to a UC and W track maintenance facility. We again catch up with the coal train passing over a fire break being maintained by a combined UC and W and Forest Service fire crew. The railroad fully supports the efforts of the Forest Service, providing equipment, supplies and construction crews to maintain fire breaks and fight fires. A drone provides a great view of our train, as it crosses Bear Creek, in the heart of the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest, Washington. We leave our coal train for a bit, and head to Bearskin Meadow Yard in Salt Lake City, Utah. Here, we pick up a UC and W Road Railer train that will run between Salt Lake City and Portland, Oregon. The Triple Crown Road Railers were picked up when the UC and W purchased Norfolk Southern in 2009. The Road Railer train continues west, Running past more of the yard, here, we see it passing Union Pacific's 1943, Sprint of Union Pacific SD-70 Ace. Finally, the road railer train, led by a purchase off lease SD40-3, passes the yard crew office at the Bearskin Meadow Yard. From here, the train will head towards Idaho and Oregon. As we head out of town, we spot an ex-Santa Fe Geep 60 performing some yard duties around the Salt Lake City Yard. We also spot a pair of ex-Norfolk Southern, now UC and W, SD40-3s arrive to pull intermodal cars from the intermodal tracks in Salt Lake City. We next see our road railer train headed past the construction site, for the new third main track, headed up the hill towards Montgomery Creek, Utah. With increased coal traffic, 
the railroad has decided to triple track the main headed west out of Salt Lake City. We next spot our train on the westbound main, just after crossing Montgomery Creek. The train is about to head into the spiral tunnel on the Utah and Idaho border. The road railer train next appears leaving the spiral tunnel in Mount Scott, Idaho, headed towards Mystery, Idaho. We arrive in Mystery, Idaho just in time to watch the road railer train pass the Mystery Station. Another really cool drone shot, shows our train crossing the high bridge over the Churilla Creek Canyon Bridge. It's a beautiful afternoon on Churilla Creek, and kayakers are taking full advantage of the sunny day to enjoy the water. The next shot of our train is at the back gate of the George S. Patton Armor Training Center in Summit, Oregon. In the foreground is the gatehouse, and behind that, the Paul facility that serves the training center. We get to the Inland Construction and Concrete Company headquarters, in West Summit, Washington, just in time to see the coal train we were previously chasing pulling into the siding in Summit. The coal train will wait here for both the road railer train and the Amtrak Pioneer to pass.
We now chase the Amtrak Pioneer as it crosses from Oregon and into Idaho, heading across the bridge over Churiala Creek. This is really beautiful scenery for the train's passengers. We'll follow the train to its station stop in Mystery, Idaho. We end our tour of the Utah, Colorado and Western today, picking up a mixed freight as it passes the new slide wall in Yeti Canyon, Washington. We hope you enjoyed your tour today, thanks for following along with us.